Hi, I'm Kara Rita. And I'm Wendy Walker. Welcome to our Thriller Fest video on character development in thrillers. Kara has written women's fiction and romance novels, but her favorite thing to write is what we now call domestic or psychological suspense. Her best-selling novels include her debut, Best Day Ever, and The Favorite Daughter. And next year, she has The Second Wife, followed by Somebody's Home. Wendy has written four psychological thrillers, All Is Not Forgotten, Emma in the Night, The Night Before, and Don't Look For Me, which comes out in September. It's great. We're here today to talk about character development in psychological suspense. Not only why it's so important, but we'll share some tools and tricks we use to get the job done. I'm a pantser, as they call us authors who write by the seat of our pants. My books start with a character who will just pop into my head. That's when I stop and use a little character development tool I learned along the way. Each one of my main characters must fill out a questionnaire to remain in the story. What do you want and what are the stakes? That's a really important question. Each character must want something. Character ah. questionnaire number two. What or who is the ghost in your past? Yes, you know we all have them. Characters need backstory information and that information must be dribbled out through the story. One of the things I like to do is to make a list for each of my characters just naming some small traits about them that will send a signal to the reader about what this character is like inside. For example, does she choose Chardonnay or Scotch? Does she sleep through the night or is she an insomniac? Does she love animals or do they drive her crazy? These are the types of things that can send a message very quickly and efficiently to your reader about what type of person this character is. So what we'd like to do now is give you some examples of characters that you probably know from popular books and films and culture and demonstrate uh, the techniques that we're talking about. So Kara, do you want to go first? Sure. So one of my favorite movies lately called The Gift. Um, Jason Bateman's in it, but the most creepy character is Gordo. So, so I'll go to a TV show. This is from a few years back, um, the second season of True Detective, which I Rachel McAdams uh, plays a female detective in that series. And the first, and within you know a minute of that scene, you know so much about her. And hopefully we'll be all together in person next Thriller Fest. Yeah, see you then. 